So New York baseball is officially over. The Yankees were eliminated. And we're going to talk about the Mets here, break down some of their needs and some of their hopes and dreams going into uh, 2021. Yep. This is going to be a very important offseason. We're going to have a new owner taking the helm, and he's going to make a splash, I think. You know, the Mets definitely have some needs. We're going to get in some of those right now. Yeah, look, um, new owners, a new ownership, they're going to you know, make their presence felt, and they're going to go out there, and they're going to make some moves. And that's what I think Steve Cohen's going to do. He's probably going to bring in a new manager, I think. Um, he might even change general managers. He might get Brody out. He might go back to you know being an agent uh, where he belongs. <laughs> and, and, and But let's, let's get into uh, the nitty-gritty here. So what would you say um, would be our biggest need right now? Well, the biggest need, and based off the response we got from our post, from our follicles, I think most fans agree the biggest need they need is starting pitching. Oh, absolutely. Yes, they need to rebuild this starting pitching from the ground up, essentially. You have DeGrom, and then you have question marks after that. I mean, how are you going to how you gonna finish if you can't start? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So so first, let, let, let's talk about you know who we can possibly get. Um, who's out there? What kind of starters can we grab? Yeah, you're going to get one back at least a month or two in the season when Noah Syndergaard comes back. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get out of him after Tommy John, mm -hmm. but you feel like he's at least going to be some semblance of what he was last year, even if you're not going to get a ton of innings out of him. No. But after that, Peterson, good promise, very good promise, but you still don't know over the long haul. And then after that, I don't know, it's a whole bunch of question marks. Oh, so, so many question marks. So many question marks. Waka, Porcello, did not live up to their end of the bargain. Uh, Strowman opted out. Really kind of screwed the Mets over by doing that. Yeah. So he's done, mm -hmm. um, unless they re-sign him. And if they do, team-friendly contract. Because, yeah. again, he hasn't pitched in a whole year now. Here's the what thing. are you getting out of him? You don't know. You don't re-sign him. Um, you know, he, he walked away from, from our team, and I don't think you ever touch him. Um, but one guy that I, that I do want to touch is, uh, Tr is Trevor Bauer. Um, I mean, talk about an outstanding citizen. I mean, this guy goes out there, leaves it all on the line. He pitched his ass off. In, in his last game. Unfortunately, his team didn't score a run the whole series against the Braves, but the pitching was there, and Trevor Bauer was a big reason. He is, and I think that's a no-brainer. If you're going to look at starting pitching, and you're looking at 1-1A, one one bringing him in completely solidifies the top end of this rotation, and that gives you a great 1-2 punch, and then you could fill out the rest of it with some some better guys than they tried with yeah. last year. But you don't need top of the line guys pitching three, four, and five. Look, we don't necessarily need five aces. Mm -hmm. Just bring in some arms that can give you some some innings and give you good innings at that. Right. And now what do we do? I think personally, I think the offense is fine. Um, you know, clutch hitting is something that's kind of like the roll of the dice. Are you gonna either you're gonna get lucky or you're not gonna get lucky? Then the the statistics were there, the, the hits were there, uh, the big boppers are there. Um, maybe one thing that you can Go out there, and I think that you should absolutely do is bring in a catcher, a legitimate catcher who can actually catch. And who's yes. that man? That man is JT Real Muto. You say his name. That's right. Look, he's the best catcher out there. Uh, the Mets need a catcher. Ramos' contract is up anyway, mm -hmm. so I didn't think they were going to bring him back to begin with. Right. After this last year, I definitely don't think they're bringing him back. And there's really only two, two real, real needs the Mets need on offense. One of them is the real Muto. The real Muto. And the other one is possibly bringing in a legit center fielder. Mm -hmm. Other than that, this offense is pretty stacked. Look, led the National League in batting average. That's no joke. No joke. That's no joke right I'm there. not laughing. <laughs> I don't think anyone should be laughing, all right, about, about that batting average. Well, I'm sorry. I, I can't help it. I laugh in appropriate situations. Oh, me too. I, anyway. But that's what I mean, though. This offense is right there. Inconsistent, possibly, at times. Mm -hmm. But the skill is there. The core is there. Yes. Look, Dom Smith plays. Alonzo plays, McNeil plays, Cano DHs. You got a pretty good lineup right here. And I think that Nemo is fine in center field. He's fine in center field. Look, if you can bring in a real true center fielder and move him to a corner outfield spot, I do think it solidifies your defense right, a little right. more. And if you bring in a guy who can also hit, not just a Juan Lagares who only can play center field yeah. half the time. <laughs> but in a, in a perfect world. In yeah. a perfect world, you bring in somebody who can hit, who can field. And then this team is really solidified on offense, I think. I think so. I think, I think we're right there, you know, with some key moves you know, from the new savior, Steve Cohen. You know, bring him in. Um, the owners, just, just accept it, all right? Because just do it for us. 23 of you is all that we need. So uh, Steve Cohen coming in, he's, he's going to make a lot of moves. He's going to go out there. He's going to open up that pocketbook. And he's going to be spending some money. He I is. really do think he that. He is. But the last thing to address is, is the bullpen. Mm -hmm. Now, look, this bullpen was improved from the yeah. year before. Diaz, despite some unclutch moments. Mm, so many unclutch moments. So many unclutch moments, but overall, he did pitch much better. He did 
turning the ship in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Familia. Better than I think most people were going to get. Familia? Yeah, Familia. You know, was he perfect? No. But was he better? Yes. Uh, Jason Shreve. Big step in the right direction. Yes. Resign Justin Wilson. You need that left-hander. You yeah. need him. The Southpaw coming out of the bullpen. And after that, you, you got to replace the Patances. That was a one-year deal that did not work. Yeah. So, you know, bullpens are year to year. You never know what you're going to get. Take a chance. Bring in some guys. Let's get some fresh blood in there. Mm-hmm. And this team, I think, has a good chance, if they can stay healthy, to do in 2021 what people thought they were going to do in 2020. Yeah, so let's see it. Only time will tell. But, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. Uh, real season of baseball, hopefully. 162 games. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully get fans in those stands. Absolutely. And we want to hear your thoughts and your comments, so please comment below. Uh, tell us tell us some, some clever deals that you think can be made, some trades, uh, some signings. We want to hear them from you. Yeah, exactly. If you think you have an idea of what the Mets need to do for success, please like, comment. We want to hear from you. 